Hey builders, today we're going to build something exciting, an intelligent QA system that can understand and answer questions about your documents using Anthropix Claude now on Snowflake Cortex. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete application that processes PDFs, searches through them intelligently, and answers questions using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Before we start, we got to make sure you have a Snowflake account in AWS US West 2 access to Snowflake notebooks, and access to Cortex functions. All right, let's start by creating our workspace. Create a database and schema called Anthropic Rag. Next, we're going to create a table called Docs Text Table for storing our process documents. Next, we're going to set up a stage called Documents for storing PDFs. And lastly, we're going to upload the PDFs to stage. Now that we've created our workspace, now we're going to jump into the notebook. Follow along the quick start to learn how to upload the notebook into Snowflake. Now we're going to set up the environment. Here we're going to import the packages we need for a rest of our project. Now that we've done that, we're going to establish some variables that we'll use across the project itself. Now for the exciting part, processing our documents. We create this function to utilize Cortex parse document to do OCR across our documents themselves. From there, from the extracted text, we'll create a data frame along with the file name so that way we can save both of them. Here, we're gonna utilize that function that we made. We'll go through the list of documents that we have and utilize our process function against it. At the end, we're going to save all our data into that table that we've created. Then we're going to create the Cortex search service. What this service does is provides us an easy way to implement the augmentation within RAG. It will go ahead and do text splitting, creates vector embeddings, and brings it all together so that way we can utilize it. Also, this service not just does the vector searches, but as well does keyword searches. Now it's time to build our chat interface. We'll use Streamlit for a clean interactive UI, implement a chat history management, add context retrieval using our Cortex search service that we made, and then connect it to Claude 3.5 Sonnet for an intelligent response. Let's go ahead and dive into our Streamlit app. First, we're going to do some initialization before we get started. Next, we're going to create get chat history so that way we can retrieve the amount of history that we want. In our case, it will be five. Then we'll make a summary of it so that way we can provide that as information for our large language model in this situation will be Claude 3.5. From there, we'll go ahead and do a Cortex search function as well. This will go ahead and utilize a search service that we built earlier. Next, we create the prompt, utilizing the information that we got back from the Cortex search service, as well as a summarization that we've built from chat history, and they provide all those details to Claude Sonnet 3.5 to get our details back and, and answer our question. Here is our function to be able to make that happen. And lastly, we're going to display our response. And within the main code, we're going to bring all that stuff together to build out a really nice UI for us to use. So here we are at the very end. Fantastic. We've done it. Let's go ahead and ask a question about one of the guides. I know the name of the guide, but I don't know the context of it. Fantastic, now we have some more information. Let's ask an additional question about it. So now that we've asked the question, watch how the system retrieves the relevant context from the document itself. Now see Claude generate the precise contextual answer and notice how the system maintains conversational history and then passes on the information across the board. So when I asked about the document itself, it got the information. 
Then when I asked about available sizes and knew that the context also had the information about the, my last question. So I was able to get an accurate answer. And there you have it builders. You just created a powerful QA system that combines the best of Snowflake Cortex and Anthropics Claude. Try it out with your own documents and let us know what you've built. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Snowflake content. Check out the description below for the links to documentation, quick start, and additional resources to help you build. Drop a comment if you have any questions or you want to share what you're building. Happy building builders.